Hey guys, Shelby and Wallace here. Shelby, where are we? We're at Stone Mountain Park in Georgia getting ready to hike the five mile Cherokee Trail. It was suggested to us by one of our viewers and we're excited to check it out. Yep. So you can see behind us an old grist mill. Uh, there should be a lot of cool stuff to look at on this trail. So you guys go on this adventure with us. Let's do it. We started our journey on the Cherokee Trail at the century old grist mill that was moved to Stone Mountain Park in 1965 from L.A.J., Georgia. We enjoyed checking out the beauty of the grist mill that has been well maintained before starting our hike. Cherokee Trail was well marked with light blazes throughout the entire trail. This trail took us along the edge of the lake for most of our journey. Not long into this section of the trail, we got our first glimpse of the Washington W. King covered bridge. This covered bridge was built by Washington W. King in 1891. The covered bridge was moved to Stone Mountain Park in 1965. You don't have to cross the bridge to continue on the Cherokee Trail, but we opted to check it out on our journey. This trail is marked as strenuous and as you can see by the terrain, the trail is challenging. The trail does offer moments of solitude away from everyone and times of being surrounded by people. It is a good challenge for beginning hikers and experienced hikers to be able to enjoy the beauty of the park. The Cherokee Trail connects with other trails in different places along the way. We opted to continue on the Cherokee Trail at this one. Here's our first view of Stone Mountain along the trail. Man, the view does not disappoint. road crossings along the trail. Please be mindful of the traffic and always look both ways before crossing.
have a nice dog park and playground for kids that you can reach by trail or if you want by car. This is another area that you can access the trailheads. We got to check out the remains of Pine Lodge Camp on this trail. The cabin was a retreat in the 1920s. Not long after passing the remains of Pine Lodge Camp, we cross the railroad tracks and start up the exposed granite of Stone Mountain. If it is raining or the rocks are wet, this section of trail is closed due to the risk of falling. As you cross Stone Mountain, you intersect the walk-up trail. You can see how heavily trafficked the walk-up trail is versus the Cherokee Trail. To see our hike of the walk-up trail, click the link above. As we start back down Stone Mountain, we're greeted with a beautiful view. Once we reach the bottom, we follow the trail along the train tracks and head back towards the face of Stone Mountain. Here you can see the carvings of Robert E. Lee, Stonewall Jackson, and Jefferson Davis. We also checked out the two monuments that were located on either side of the carving of the Cherokee Trail. In front of the memorial lawn, you get a view of the sky right overhead. 
to check out the Sky Ride and the original laser show that just recently ended, check out the link above. With not much left on our hike, we passed by the nature garden that was established in 1961. It wasn't long before we found ourselves walking along the raceway that used to channel the water to the gristmill. Shelby. We've come full circle here on the Cherokee Trail at Stone Mountain Park here in Georgia. We started at the Grist Mill and as you can see in the background we're finishing it up here. Uh, what an amazing adventure it's been. It really was. Yeah, seen a lot of cool stuff. If you liked this video please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, ring the notification bell so you'll find us know when we put out another video. Yep. And until next adventure, see ya! See ya.